There are so many brands of beverages available, ranging from your soda to your energy drinks and even to your sugar juices. Now, when you have a chewed bottle in front of you when you are very thirsty, it can be very difficult to resist. But the problem with most of these beverages is that they have a high sugar content and are also very acidic. And these two combinations can be very detrimental to the health of your teeth. We all have natural bacteria in our mouth. On their own, they are actually harmless. But when you introduce a substrate in the form of either a sugary snack or a sugary drink, the bacteria in the mouth will feast on it. As they do this, there is an acidic byproduct that is produced, which over time can affect the tooth enamel, causing erosion or eventually a decay. The tooth enamel is actually the external part of your tooth, that is the outer covering, and it is protective in function. It is also said to be quite hard, even harder than bone. But when it is repeatedly exposed to sugary foods and snacks, it can eventually weaken it, causing to decay. It takes quite a long time for the tooth enamel to weaken, but once this happens, as the enamel gets decayed, the second layer of the tooth, called the dentin, becomes exposed. The second layer, called the dentin, is not as hard as the enamel. So once it gets exposed, it becomes much more vulnerable to decay and the decay process goes on quite faster. At the early stages of dentin decay, you may experience some sensitivity. Not all people experience it, but you may experience some sensitivity. As the decay gets deeper into the dentin, the sensitivity tends to increase and can actually cause toothache. Regarding the effects of soda and sugar drinks on your teeth, what actually happens most often is this. Because those drinks are acidic, when you take them, the enamel of your teeth becomes softened on a microscopic level. They become quite soft and you don't know. So if you tend to grind your teeth, or let's say you brush right after, or you indulge in a lot of you doing a lot of things that are tough, the enamel can start to wear away what you call the teeth wear lesions. It can start to wear away gradually, gradually, eventually exposing the dentin. Now, most times, people that tend to take a lot of these things tend to complain more of sensitivity than cavities. So they've been taking soda all these years and they didn't experience anything. Then all of a sudden, they start saying that, you know, they can't chew without some shock or sensitivity. They can't drink water without experiencing some shock. It's because over time, the enamel has been very away, grinding up, sliding up, and now that the dentin has become exposed to the oral environment, they are now having sensitivity. So what I will advise is, first of all, you need to limit your intake of sugars, especially in the form of juices. Secondly, if you must take them, please use a straw. That way, it doesn't touch your teeth. Thirdly, once you are done drinking any of those drinks, please rinse with water. Let water be your friend because that helps to neutralize the acidic environment in your mouth. Depending on the degree of sensitivity, if it's mild, it may be placed on a desensitizing toothpaste and that may actually give you some relief. If it is severe, especially when you also have tooth wear, that means you have like occlusal grinding and it's really bad. In such situations, you may have to place a restoration in the form of crowns so that they can actually cover up and build back the tooth to the way it should be. If in any case you already have a cavity from that, the dental restoration will need to be placed so as to prevent further decay into the pulp tissue. But in some cases of extreme sensitivity, you may actually require a root canal treatment. This treatment tends to remove the nerves from the tooth, thereby taking away every source of pain or discomfort so that that way you're able to chew and enjoy your meals. When it comes to dental health, I always say that prevention is always better than you going to seek for a cure. So what can you do? Like I said, avoid taking sodas and sugar drinks. And if you must take them, please use a straw and rinse with water right after. Brush your teeth twice daily, morning and night. And plus regularly, especially at night. And go for regular dental checkups. That way, an early diagnosis can be done if you have any issues and then they can be treated early. Finally, if you grind your teeth, it can increase your chances of having tooth wear and sensitivity. So you may want to consider getting a mouth guard. You need to visit your dentist for a proper assessment. Also, I forgot to add, when you take these acidic drinks, please make sure that you don't brush right after. Even your coffee can be acidic. So once you are done taking them, you have to wait for at least 30 minutes to an hour before you try to brush your teeth. Because like I said earlier, 
When you take those drinks, your enamel is already softened. So brushing your teeth at that point, you end up wearing away your enamel faster, which can increase your chances of sensitivity. By making these little small changes, it can actually help to protect your teeth and preserve your smile. Thanks for joining me today. I hope that this has been helpful. Please like, share, subscribe for more dental tips and I will see you next time.